your brand. Let's see a little more <laughs> relevant here. But. No, that's fair. All right, so this is a Vivid Vendetta. Let me uh, yeah. load this up real quick. Yeah, this should be a good set. Oh, I got to swap out the character, too, because uh, Rio. PS2 game one. I was honestly expecting to see a smaller stage. There we go. All right. Everything's set up properly. I have to imagine this matchup's kind of annoying, but probably not bad for for Ryu. Like, seems like the Shotos in general just don't like fighting zoners, but... Uh, Ryu definitely has a better um, shot at it than Ken, though. Just uh, his fireballs can be very annoying for zoners to deal with because it disrupts their uh, tempos. So it'll make it much harder for Vivid to pull bombs when there's a red fireball coming at him at all times. As in, you can see right here, Vendetta has Vivid in the corner, and he's just spamming that. Yeah, I like the uh, little bit of charge on that, too. Making sure to get his damage. No jump here. Yeah, he that was a suspicious Rising Tatsu. Yeah, I think, he, uh, I think he just had a little panic moment, but it happens. Yeah. Yeah, another nice thing about uh, Shakunetsu is you can, like, vary the timing and speed on it, too. So you can do, like, different speeds. And then he has, like, regular Hadouken, which also has different speeds. So it yeah. can be, like, kind of annoying to try and, like, check it consistently. Yeah, it's definitely a fireball minigame that you have to play. And if you're not very familiar with it, you can get run over pretty quickly, even as a zoner by it. Because Viv has been letting him put a shit, uh, Vendetta a lot... He's been letting Vendetta push him to the corner a lot in situations where I don't think that's entirely necessary. And once you, Shoto has you in the corner, you're basically dead to rights if they're at top level. Yeah. That character's just so good from that position. We do love auto turnaround in this house. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And down tilt on shield. Oh, it's great. Yeah, Vivid just doesn't look confident yet. Vendetta looks like the much more confident player. That's kind of just how he's been playing all day. Like, when I watched him earlier, too, like, he just seems supremely locked in 24-7. Vendetta? Yeah. Yeah, he looked good in the Cola set, but there are just opportunities that didn't go his way. That's how most Cola sets go. Part of that's because Cola's just an aggressive player, so, like, by definition, he's just going to take more risks than a lot of other people of similar skill levels. Yeah, but it was, like, confirmed stuff that Vendetta was getting wrong. Okay, right? that's different then. Never mind. Either way, he's got a really clean lead. He's just the main thing is that despite you know Toon Link having better space control tools, Gaia, his greater mobility, and also just projectiles in a disjoint, for the most part, Vendetta's maintained consistent stage control. He's just yeah, Vendetta's making it look like the opposite. Oh, that's a great down air though to catch the roll in. But Vivid's just fighting from the corner every single time. He was doing this last set against Dusk also and until the middle of game four when he figured out he didn't have to. I'll be curious to see if a similar adaptation happens during this set. Yeah, that's just a really common pitfall that you see with a lot of zoner players is that they think, oh, well, I'm supposed to keep people out. But keeping people out doesn't necessarily mean just constantly running away. It means holding your ground so that they can't oh gain it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that killing is just yeah. absolutely terrifying. Yeah, that was... Uh, roll in that Vendetta was all over. And I don't it's really so like taking Shotus to PS2, and that's one of the reasons is that low blast zone. Yeah. But yeah, I, a lot of people think that zoners are just about running away, but zoners are really about getting to control your interactions. Yeah, you just, you get, you, the idea is you just get so much built-in conditioning with a lot of your projectiles, and then you just use that information how you will. Yeah, but. you take all possible futures, and then you force your opponent into only one of them. Uh, that's like what's supposed to happen anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not what happened in this game. But let's see if Vivid does a better job of controlling the pace and the space of the match. In this game, going back to PS2, I don't like that pick. A lot of Georgia players do this. No, uh, this is uh, something I see way too much. But what especially baffles me is when people who are playing against zoners go back to PS2. You're giving them more space? Yeah, o Omega's especially bad about it, <laughs> where it, it just doesn't make sense. But a lot of players are just more comfortable on this stage and never think to go anywhere else because it's just the standard in the region. It's kind of the standard everywhere from what I could tell. Like, I've gone to tournaments in plenty of countries. PS2 starters, pretty much standard there, too. Yeah, 
the PS2 run back, no place does it like Georgia. I don't know. They were doing it a lot in France when I went last. Huh. Oh, that stock. Or, oh, <laughs> Ryu's so heavy. Oh, I like him being aggressive there. He caught the bomb. No, that's so nice. Oh, yeah, he missed the confirm. Yeah. I um, like the... Uh, I like the idea behind going for a little uh, back air out of the down tilt, but... Yeah, that was really cute to try to catch the jump. That's a very common option out of Ryu down tilt, because I think that's the only option that um, Toon Link has that's fast enough to get out of that yeah. without getting nicked, is that jump. Ooh, oh, could have been stock maybe if you rip that up air. That Z-drop option out of shield with bomb is so powerful, but it's so hard to know where they're going to go. Yeah, I think that's the oh, one. That should have been stock. It's unironically one of the harder things about playing the character is just like getting consistent kill confirms. It when you don't know where they're gonna go. I guess you just have to be really good at uh, tracking more than anything. Yeah, Toon Link players have told me that there's a way to know, but I haven't figured it out yet. I don't think I'm going to. However, Vivid opening up game two with a lead, very stark difference from game one. Which looked a little hopeless. Oh, that's a great chase on the roll away. No, that's such a common thing, too, because Stone Peel, when they start getting hit by Deltos, just panic roll. It is one of the most common defensive options you'll ever see against the FGC characters. Yeah, they're all over it. They've seen it a thousand times before. No, they're they're actively looking for that. Loki, the Giga Brain strat, is when you start getting hit by Deltos, SDI up, and then land with an aerial. Because then when they try and run in to, like, punish you, you just hit them. Yeah. Like, funnily enough, literally one of the... Back when I was still competing, one of the funniest ways I want to set on Jazo was he, he tried to read me. Uh, he tried to read me rolling away with down tilts. I SDI'd up, and then I just hit him in the face with the knee, <laughs> <laughs> and he just exploded. No way! Whoa! The look on his face is amazing. But anyway, more people should do stuff like that. Like, it, if you make him just have to respect it just a little bit. Oh, it's where so is funny. he going? Okay, not to the blast zone. Good. Vendetta started going back to his fireball game plan, and it was working for a little bit, but Vivid able to find that stock early. Oh. Now, I thought he was going to get a solid frame trap there, but I think he, like, tried to press the button at a weird timing, so nothing came out. Yeah, he, like, auto-canceled his nair or something on the ground. <laughs> Lanny canceled it, I guess. Oh. Did Vendetta get a dog recently or something? Is that... Is the, does, does that tag mean something like uh, that? I don't know. I don't know, I guess you don't know. 99% of the time, I don't know what any of these tags mean. Oh yeah, I think that's kind of the fun of it though. Yeah, they're just like random uh, deep cuts. I think it's funny how no one ever like asks what people's tags mean. I mean, I do when I talk to people, but I haven't been around for a while, so. Nice catch. Ooh, that's a tough catch to get because like, you're basically covering neutral get up twice there. And most people just think to cover it once. But Vivid just all over that, and that's going to be 1-1. One, one. Let's see even though it goes to a different now. Yeah, being able to get uh, capitalized on that bomb trade that you get there is really nice. Going back to the Ryu, I like it. When he's getting his fireball game going, things are working out for him. I think this may be a matchup of who can throw a projectile first. Because there's a lot of, like, zoner v. zoner matchups where it's just who can get a projectile first. And you literally see both of them hit their neutral Bs to start out the game. That's That seems about right. If it works, it works. Oh, my God. Sorry. Whoopsies. Um, Vivid is making me very nervous with those. But he's getting no. away with it. No, you're, you're asking him to get a shield broken and die at zero. You're asking to SD. It's too late. He has no drift on that up B. That too. Way. Oh, I wish it went for something a little more aggressive instead of the arrow. Like, sure, it's safe, but man. Yeah, it, it's just really tough to choose committal options against Shotos because the risk reward is so tough if you get hit. It's, it's not as bad with Ryu as it is with Ken, but I think a lot of players are conditioned to play too safe versus Shotos because of that. No, That's it's... Hard. I think it's like a mental block that a lot of people have, and ultimately it's best to get through if you want to achieve that next level of consistency. Yeah. Because they're going to be punishing you hard. You need to make sure that you're doing the same. Either that or just never let them win neutral, which... Tough. Good luck with that unless you play like a handful of characters. <laughs> unless you're Sonics. Unless you're Sonics, yeah. 
All right, Vivid's doing a good job of clawing his way back into these games when he's ending up in bad situations. You've got to give him a lot of props for it. He is still getting chased in the corner a little bit too much for my liking. I like how patient Vendetta is being. Shotos are the scariest when they're just walking around and shielding, I think. No, I agree. And Vendetta is one of the best Shotos at that. Yeah, Jaza does that a lot too, but I think he's in Canada right now. There's like some Canadian regional or something going on, I don't know. That sounds about right for him. He'd just be going places. Yeah. Which, hell yeah. Traveling is so lit. Anyways, <laughs> Vivid is on the ropes right now. This is not going very well. Yeah, it might be a GG we go next kind of moment at this point. Yeah, Vendetta just locked back in on his fireball game plan. He stopped giving Vivid any free openings, and wow, Vivid doesn't have any answers right now. Yeah, that's just He actually odd. just got killed. He got gimped by fireballs. Yeah, Damn. that's... That's, but that's, that's not going well when that happens. Vivid has to make Vendetta do something else. You can't just, he can't just win like this. This is too easy. This sets for like two hundred dollars. Like, you no, there's actually here. like, there's genuinely like a really solid amount of money in this tournament for some reason. Yeah, no, I've seen people, people care about this tournament. I've seen a lot of emotion. I low key regret not entering, <laughs> on the lowest oh, of keys. Lot. I forgot Jazo wasn't in the bracket. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have had to worry about Jazo either. E even my washed ass could probably crawl into top eight and get like some money. I don't know, this top eight was tough. <laughs> Did you see what Omega had to do to make top eight? No. Lost to Tope. I had went game five with Sakana. Do top eight, like that's tough. That's just how it is sometimes, I guess. So with options like this, where they just spam Fireball, for example, there's some options where you have to think about it before the set to be able to develop counterplay. Because the counterplay isn't very obvious. And I think this may be one of those cases. Because Shokunetsu is a fire move. So it's just going to stop. So Red Fireball is just going to break Bomb on yeah. hit. Which means that your Bomb game doesn't really get anywhere when they're spamming those. Uh, Shokunetsu's. Oh god. This is bad. <laughs> There's so much damage. It, it makes it very difficult, unless you think about it before the set. Like, how, if, these, if he spams Shokunetsu, how am I going to deal with it? Because you can hit these fireballs. If he was just like jabbing these Shokunetsu's, I think he could get away with it. It's difficult. You have to know how to do it, and you have to know that you can do it. Yeah, 100%. Either way, at least he got a conversion there, so things are looking a little bit better for him. But yeah, he just doesn't know what to do against Vendetta's game plan right now. And sometimes those are just sets that you have to hold, but it's very unfortunate to have one of those sets when the stakes are so high. Yeah. Oh, he had an opening, but just wasn't. Had another opening. But that's good SDF from Vivid right there. He hasn't gotten anything, but. He keeps dash attacking from corner. He was doing this in the dust set a lot also. He just keeps panicking in corner. It's another dash attack. He's spamming that move way too much. He's desperate for the dash attack. All right, what's the solution here? Great roll. Yeah, yeah he's able but to reset that center. Fireball. That was a great idea on the grab, but Toon Link's grab is uh, not the best move ever. Yeah, it might be a good time to like start pulling out Zare zones, honestly. Yeah, uh, I have a feeling that the Shakunetsu would somehow beat it, though. That Toon Link Zare, it's not a privileged move. A little bit more running around. This also, on desperate. the lowest of key, he might be able to like walk at a specific speed frequency to be able to have his shield yeah. block it. Because that's the thing. The shields are actually blocking some projectiles. Chuck and Etsu does a crazy amount of shield damage, though. So. No, I don't mean sh I mean oh, his okay. literal shield. Link's shield. Oh. The one he holds in front of yeah, him I at all times. Yeah, he gets that. Yeah, I think he may be right. That may have been the option, but Vivid not able to figure anything out, and that's just going to be a simple 3-1 Vendetta. Yeah, rest in peace. Either way, Vivid getting a respectable fifth in a tournament with a lot of good players still. He can do but some payday. Yeah, I, I know he wanted more, 